Let's dance. Ha! Not like this. <sighs> hey guys, we are back with another video. The, this one, we're gonna branch away from Fortune, and I'm gonna be talking about playing with Six of Warlords this time. It, Six of Warlords, I really like a lot. Also, it's also one of the two comps I like to recommend it to like new players. <clears throat> I like to recommend Warlords and Cultists because of one reason. <laughs> it it makes it where new players learn, like it forces them to learn how to manage their money. Because in order to hit like the high ceiling of these comps and to have success with them. You have to manage your money pretty well, which is why I like to recommend them. I mean, Nine Cultists is pretty straightforward. Six Warlords, however, I also like it. Besides that, I think it's a good way to force people to learn. Is that it is very flexible who you make to carry in Six Warlords. Now, you can always go Nine Warlords too. Which generally does pretty decent, but nine warlords you have to hit the warlords fat, and even then sometimes I think six is ideal. I don't I don't think nine is as good as before. Um, but that's just my thoughts on six warlords versus nine. I was I mean like the ninth warlord can be Samira, which I mean. Which would still be good, but takes up one of our item slots, which I think like having an IE, Giant Slayer, GA, Deathblade, you know, is much better. <sighs> oh, I also chose this game. I also chose this game because, uh, because the way it started out. So you can tell I'm having issues. <laughs> because the way the game started out. Because my, my original plan was not to go into six warlords. Because you tell I just had a money opener. So I don't mind money openers. You know, I just buy everything on the wheel. And I and on this particular day I played mage. I think I tried to play mage comps like once or twice. So I didn't want to do it. You want to see me pick up the chosen brand here. But, um, like I said, six warlords, generally when I play six warlords, I like to pick up a warlord early like that guy. I just, he just saw me go bug. I like an early chosen Garen or Nidalee. Ideally, I like to, I like it to be Nidalee because I end up drop, ideally you want to drop Garen later, later, unless you like three star him. I think 3-star Garen's better than 2-star Vi. And it's much easier to 3-star Garen right now. Because he's not a very contested unit. Unlike Vi. In this meta of brawlers that we keep. That is the thing right now. Excuse me, I just woke up. But. I think my, what was my original plan? I think my original plan was to go keepers this game. Yeah, my original plan was to go keepers. So you can tell I have a three, two, three star, two star NASA's right now. So if the, in this game, if I was given like chosen Yasuo, like right there in the beginning, instead of Fior, I probably would have gone Duelist. I mean, technically, I still could have, but. I think I pick up... No, I don't pick up Garen here. I do pick up Vi, I think. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what I did in this game because it's, it's been a few days since I last played it. I, I'm just going to spoil it now, just warning you. I do lose to a three-star Lee Sin at the end of this game. It's probably the only reason why I lost this game. <laughs> I mean, it probably would have been really, really close with the two-star lease in, but the three-star, you know, just was uh, literally kicking some butt off the field. 
Um, I don't think I oh yeah, I do bye bye because I considered going Warlord, but I believe I'm going to lose the streak again. It'll be good as usual, but oh, see, I hit chosen Italy. I think I pick it up. Yeah, I do. All right, maybe I did not pivot into it, but I just considered going Warlords just because of my items. Bow could be really good for Samara later. I generally like, in six Warlords, I generally like to run Samara with Nidalee because Samara right now is really good. The only problem is Samara right now is also really contested between the Spirit Sharpshooter comps which has been a really popular comp that's been kind of blowing up right now. I personally don't like it, but it's a really strong comp. And it is a, and Samara is a good unit. Uh, I also like to run Warlords. I mean, you could technically run Set, you know, Set and Vi together. Uh, oh, I just brain fired, what the other? You could run Lisa and Trindamir together, technically. That'll give you early, that'll give you duelist. I mean, a warlord comp, you can also, instead of making Katarina carry, you can make Trindamir carry. Especially in a game where Slayers and uh, duelists aren't being played. Uh, technically, you can make a Jarvan carry, I think, in this current meadow. Jarvan... The only time Jarvan's ever contested is in Keeper Comp. Which you don't see very often game to game. Or I haven't lately. You know, everyone got different flavors. Especially in Plat and High Plat, Low Diamond Elo. Everyone's kind of got like a different flavor of comp they like to play. Whether they hard force every game or not, it's another story. Um, the only comp I tend to struggle with when playing six warlords is the nine cultists because galio is just a very th nine the nine galio the supreme galio is a very very thick unit anyway so now we're back to second carousel i believe i pick up a bf sword here yes I pick up three Warlords early too, because generally with Warlords, you kind of want to snowball early and run with it. Like, running Warlords, six Warlords or nine, there should be no excuse why you shouldn't hit level eight. I mean, if you're healthy and you snowballed early correctly, you should be hitting level nine every, like in most games and before everyone else. Eight and nine. So... If you're properly playing it and you slow level, right? Or you don't drop below 50. Uh, yeah, I hesitated playing Warlords this game too. Because obviously that guy is playing Warlords. So I'm, I'm obviously playing Contested. That guy is also playing Warlords. So I had two other people play Warlords this game. Which is kind of a rare sight, especially in this elo, because not a lot of, I think people have a bad perception of warlords. I think right now, I think warlords, it's not the strongest comp, and it's not, but it's also not the weakest comp either right now. Like I think it's a very very stable comp, or balanced, however you want to put it. It's just the problem with six warlords that when you get to late game, right? I'm talking about around like. Five, right? 5-1. Like, 4-5 to 5-1, right? When you start that transition to, like, the later phase of the game. Whoever's your carry, right? They need to be 3 start Unless it's a 5-cost unit, right? Or or a 4-cost unit. Unless they're a 4 or 5-cost unit, like Trindamir. But, or Samir, right? Because, obviously, 3-starring Samir. Like, that's, like, super, super hard. Especially without Nico's help. I mean, ideally, I generally like to, I generally run Cat Carry, because I think Cat is still a relatively good unit. 
and I like, and she does a lot of AOE damage, and Cat's really good against the Spirit Assassin comps whenever she gets her uh, ability off, so. Also really good against Keeper comps. So, that's why I like to run Cat Carry over other units in the Warlord unit. But, I mean, I've also won games playing, you know, Tank Garen, 3-star Tank Garen, 3-star Tank Fi, you know, in previous patches, so. I've also seen Trendemir carry do really, really well with six Warlords, so. Um, right now, as you can tell, I did not level up, right? I have four units. I'm still level four. Because I, I was pretty confident I can beat these guys. I picked up a Nico's help, which is really, really good. And I picked up a Jarvan, which is also really, really good. So having a rod and a bow is rage played, obviously. Which is like really really good for Samira but also having a rod is like half is one of the two components I need to make GA or not GA gunblade so I don't think I slam it yet oh yeah I do I do slam it now generally I don't but I do slam it now because I know that I'm gonna have to try to hit eight first and find Samira's because of the other warlord units or being played this game. Also, I know I'm not going to hit a three-star cat this game because I believe there's also a fortune player in this game too. I I vaguely remember, but I remember that I went with. I just slammed it. I generally don't. But I slammed it early because I know that like Samir is going to be my main carry in this comp, which at this point is looking really really bad considering I'm on a six-round lose streak. Which is really, really bad. So now we level up to six. Just because I'm trying to break my loose streak. I like, I like Kennen a lot. Especially at this phase in the game at round three. Kennen's a good... Does damage. Does an AoE stun. Like It's hard to argue why Kennen isn't good right now. I mean, hell. In Keeper's Comp, Kennen is one of your two carries. If not, he could be your main carry in the Keeper's Comp. Um, as, he, as we go through this game, I also, I don't know why, I don't know if it's a fad right now, but I've also noticed quite a few people playing four ninjas again with said carry. I think Chosen said, or Chosen Akali. So, I don't know why it's making a comeback, but I guess playing four ninjas right now, I guess is also pretty decent, kind of in the same position as Warlords. It's just a matter of properly hitting and transitioning into the five cost units. Also, I think Four Ninjas is, I think I keep seeing it because a lot of those units right now are kind of meh, <laughs> so they're not really contested. So we broke our lost streak, right? And now we're econing, we're level six. So we're, str we're probably like, if not, we're stronger than most people right now. Probably, I'm not as strong as the guy in first, obviously, I think, or the two guys are in win streaking. But we're running three sharps right now, which is pretty good. So us breaking this that lose streak and making a slight comeback is closing the gap between everyone else besides the top two guys. It's really good. So I pick up a BF sword. Yeah. So I am heavily indexing into Samara carry this game. Which is very, very unusual for me. Because, uh, I, like I said, I generally go Katarina carry. When I play Warlords. Because, like, like I think I've stated before in the Fortune videos, Cat is not a very contested unit. Unless, like, people are playing Fortune. Playing Assassins, which is rarely, rarely seen. Like, Spirit Assassins. Which I've also seen kind of make a comeback recently too for some reason. I think it's just what people default to when marksmen's are being taken. And and then warlord comps. Which warlord comps are rarely, rarely seen. So I, I took the liberty and leveled up to 7 early. 
I pick up Kale because I don't need three sharpshooters. You know, three is just as good as two. Also, Kale's a good uh, rage played user, and hitting a Kale kind of at this point is like pretty good. Since I'm still looking for my Warlord units, so I can go six Warlords. Uh, so you might have noticed why this weird positioning I have going on. This is kind of like the position you want to do when playing Keepers. You know, except, you know, you have all your Keepers right there and where Kale's standing or where Zion is the ideal position for Keepers. But I also position like that because that way my front line is getting double shielded by my Keepers unit. And then, you know, my back lines still have a shield with the exception of Nidalee. Uh, I position like this because I think somebody with assassins positioning on the opposite side that I just moved from. Like, here's one. Well, cat's in the middle, but. Oh, I think I lose. Yeah, this guy is one of the other Warlord player comp. And I, I end up losing this. Like, 100%. There's no way I win. So, that guy win streaking super hard with Lee's with uh, that cop is really good so as you just saw i just hit a samara at level seven which i have a one percent chance by the way to hit a five class unit at this level right one percent chance let alone let it be samara like lit, like hitting samara at this point in the game is absurdly lucky like so lucky that i should play the lotto lucky <laughs> like so absurdly lucky. Like, I cannot believe I hit Samira. Uh, so, I end up slamming Deathblade here. So, these are, like, I say pretty ideal items for Samira that I have. These other items I got, I really don't know what to do with them. I mean, I, I can make a QSS technically, which is, like, good for Katarina. And that I still have one more round of minions. So I can just hold them for now. Because I already have my big main items on Samara. And hitting a Samara at this point. Like pre-level 8. Makes me pretty strong in comparison to most people. <laughs> I think this guy's got 7 cultists right now. So he doesn't have the big 9 that you like to hit at running cultists. Uh, so, I think I end up wind streaking for a hot while with this now. So I just hit cat. I think I end up dropping jacks, do I not? Hitting, hitting six warlords is kind of a big spike, with the exception of this right now. I kind of vaguely remember why I sold Cat and all. I think I sold Cat off because I know I'll find it later. And I think econing and hitting eight as soon as possible is more important. And anything else so I can keep finding more Samaras. Because ideally if I love... I, I, know I, I, I know at this point if I hit level two Samara before anyone else. Like I can top four easily in this game. And ever, as you can tell, like, between 5th to 8th, we are pretty... Well, all right, me and the guy in 5th is close to next in HP then. And then the two guys at the bottom, they're they're pretty doomed. I think to, is easily to say the least. I think I picked up Cat and I considered dropping Jack so I can have 6 Warlords. But all my Warlord units were 1 cost units, which is like... Or 1 star units, which was like... At this point, it's like, feels bad. It feels pretty bad. So that guy's got a duelist Kale, by the way. Which I think he makes a pretty good comeback in this game, by the way, from that spot. Duelist Kale is definitely underrated. <laughs> it is so good. I'm just kind of, I will say, on a side note, even though it's just kind of rammed as I lose to this 
Darius carry that uh I think them bringing back Kale, especially the way she is now. From set three point from set three, it's kind of cancer a little bit. But what else are you gonna do with the Kale? I mean, I guess in like set and back to set one, like they made Kale like use her R as a five cost unit, as a noble too. So it's just like, like what's next? Like I don't think there, there's not a lot of variety you can do with Kale. Unlike with uh, Riven. Actually, I don't even think Riven has that much variety now once I thought about it. Uh, so we end up picking up... Okay. We end up picking up Azir here. Because that would be my 6 Warlord. Which I think I just level up. Yep, I just level up and put him in. And I get Keepers off this. So this is really cool. Wow, why'd I say it like that? This is really good. <laughs> um, I think in this game, I never pick up Cat, by the way. Because I feel like it's two point, or it's too late to, like, index into Cat Carry. Uh, so I find Trindamir, I drop Garen. That way I still got Jax in there and Duelist. As you can tell, I also need a Trindamir for Slayers. Because now I'm getting Slayers off a of, off of Pike, too. So... I know in a lot of Warlords Guide, if if there are a lot, I don't know how many there are, that I'm pretty sure that they'll confidently tell you that you need to pick up Pike, especially when you go Cat Carry. Because generally on your, you make Pike, you want your, your ninth Warlord too. So. Uh, so at this point, I'm just trying to hit level 2 Samira. And possibly 3-star any of my units. So we just 2-star Trindamir and Jarvan, which is really, really good. Gives us a nice, solid front line now. So here's the Duelist guy. I think he beats me, the Duelist Kale guy. Literally just evaporates everyone. Yep. There I go. Like, look at that attack speed. So the two guys at the bottom from, like, a few rounds ago are still barely hanging on. Closing the gap between everybody else from the bottom to the top. So for all of us to be alive at 5-1 is kind of uncommon. Generally, like, one or two people would be knocked out by now. Generally. Uh, I think I just... Oh, yeah. With Nico sub. So, I just need one Samara, really, at this point. So, I can two-star. Because without level two Samara, like, I won't top four. 100%. kind of crazy like just about any item you can put on Trendemir right now is like really good even though ideally I think you want to put kind of similar items to what I got on Samara for Trendemir if you go Trendemir carry oh so as you notice, I picked up Azir, but you're probably wondering why I didn't use Nico to two-star Azir. Because Azir is not my carry. Like, Azir is just a luxury five-cost unit that is also a synergy holder for six Warlords and Keepers. As you can tell, some, as you just saw Samara just rip into the enemy team, this is only a level one Samara. And that's the guy that was contesting me for his Warlords. So I drop Jax, put in Lee Sin. Still gives me duelist with Lee Sin. So that's still pretty good. 
I also like Six Warlords, you know, circling back to it in the beginning of the video. Because Six Warlords, you can flex a lot of the five cost units still, while still having a solid front line. Like, look at this, I have three of the five five cost units in the game. Now, unfortunately, I can safely say that it is, like, trying to fit Swain into your comp is hard. Because, you know, he won't add any synergies to your comp unless you go, like, Siphoners. Which is just really, really weird to flex into a six warlord. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like at level, like if you go nine, like I guess you can put Swain in, and you know have him be a front line with you know solid tank items. Also, if you ever hit early, well, okay, I hit an Orn there. If you ever hit an Orn like way earlier in the game, like like four one, like if you fast eight, you need to put Orn in. Like Orn items are like secret OP, I think. Regardless which Orn item you get. So the Duelist Kel guys on a winning sh like is just running it back. I mean that guy can like lose two rounds probably and still live. Or lose a round and still live, so. Uh oh this guy this is the eight cultist guy right now. Like he didn't hit his nine yet. He's still missing Zillion, I believe. So as you can tell one 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 star Samara with these items is doing a lot of work. But still ain't no two star. Technically, I could pick up a Warlord ban here and put it on Pike. But instead, I picked up Azir. So I can two star Azir. Which two starring Azir is really good. Generally, if Azir wasn't there on the pool, I would have picked up the Warlord banner and put it on uh, probably Lee Sin. Because the extra health is always nice. I mean, also, Pike's a good Warlord user, so. So I'm just here, just, I'm still desperately rolling to hit Samara. Just one Samara, that's all I need. Uh, that guy with the double fawn, by the way, was really fortunate. I don't know how he got double fawn in this game, because, you know, I didn't do as much scouting or pivoting in this game. Cause I mean in six warlords you can kinda you can be pretty lazy about positioning too. So regardless what carry you go with, or your main carry. I mean this round you saw Trendemir do more work, so Like I can safely say I am pretty strong even with the level one Samara that I hit extremely early and by chance so it's so like i finally hit his nine warlords but unfortunately set it's also really good in tonight it's the supreme galio it's just that guy has a level one set we are rolling again to find a samara and we broke So every comp you see here, I say is really, really strong. It's just I'm just really annoyed at this point in the game too, because no one else has Samira on the board, but like I haven't even hit it yet. Like where is she, man? <laughs> uh, this guy being level seven, running Cultus, eight Cultus is kind of unfortunate, to say the least. Because being level 7 running cultists, you'll, it is like damn near impossible. Like to hit a zillion. But this guy's Vlad is also really, really strong. So see that duelist kill guy, that, that Julie guy? Or Illy? I don't know. I don't know if it's I L Y, but he just lost. And the next round he loses, he's out.
Unfortunately for that guy, the duelist guy, that kill was also a contested unit because there's an executioner comp. Or unfortunate for each other. Uh, Hurricane at this point in the game is pretty useless item, like not ideal. But I believe I end up putting on Trindamir anyways because I don't know what else to do with it. So now we're in round six. Like, even if I lose a round, like, if I, if I get complete, like, my board gets completely wiped, I die at this point in the game. Yeah, even hard rolling like this, I still don't hear a hit a Samira. Oh, that guy also has a one star Samira. Two star. Actually, so that guy, as you saw, right? He has six Lee Sins on his board. A chosen Lee Sin. Oh, I fight, as you can tell. He has a chosen Lee Sin and a natural two star right now. So this guy has three Lee One Lee And he has one Nico help on his... Two Nico's help on his match. He is one Lee Sin away from three starring a Lee Sin. Alright. Like, that's just insane. And he knows this too. Like he knows that if he three stars Lee Sin, he wins this game. And I have a Lee Sin. So there's literally only two Lee Sins left in the pool for him. And I finally hit Samira. Finally. And I Nico Salters. Because at this point, I know I'll, I will beat just about anybody right now. So. So I'm feeling pretty confident I can win this game at this point now, finally. Because I two-starred everything with the exception of Lee Sin, right? Because obviously, a lot of the Lee Sins are taken out of the pool between me and little Zazzy Vert, the guy in second place. So this is the Nine Cultist guy, and you'll see me like just wipe him after I take the Galio hit. By the way, Redemption at late game is a useless item. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say useless. It's not a very, it's not as good as early. So. So I was looking at three star Lee Sin. So it does a thousand damage, it said, or two thousand damage and it stuns, and if they live, it stuns them for ten seconds, right? So. So that guy with the Vlad carry that never hit nine cultists, like, like that's a very interesting pivot into four siphoners and six cultists. So I went mean, like that guy was like really creative about how he got top four this game, <laughs> especially being at level seven for the rest of this game. So that, that kudos to that guy. Also, that guy just hit diamond, so that's also good for him. I mean, with that adaptation, you know, you can see why he's in diamond. <laughs> While being contested for cultists, so that's really good for him. Oh, that guy runs for the Lee I believe. Yep. So there we go. So that guy is going to three stars Lee Sin right now. So now we get to see the way I lose this game. So, like I said, so that was basically, I guess I did run Warlords since the beginning of this game. I thought I pivoted into it. Uh, I think I got it mixed up with another game. I ran six Warlords in the day, but... I mean, pretty much, this is pretty much the ideal Warlord comp that I'm running right now, right here. Where Samara basically is your main carry after, instead of Cat. I like to run the combination of them, both Cat and Samara. 
But in this game, I didn't because I know I was being contested for Warlords. But we just beat the Executioner guy. Generally in 6 Warlords too. I think I said this earlier. Like, generally, most guides will tell you to drop Garen for your 6th Warlord. I generally like to try to 3-star Garen naturally and keep him. Because he's a nice tanky frontliner in comparison to Vi. And Vi is just... In this game, was I probably could have 3-starred her realistically. Because the brawlers weren't being ran, but it's, it's hard. In some games, Vi is really contested. So you're about to watch 3 star Lisa and just kick my QSS Trindomir off the map, you know, it's always nice. That guy is also really strong outside of 3 star Lisa. But for this last fight, you know, I'm going to turn the sound on and you can just bask in the annoyance of me losing to 3 star Lisa. <laughs> Oh, that is so unreal. That and is insane. Action. Holy. Technically, I could have tried three star in Trindomir, having this much money. It freaking matters. But. Realistically, I probably could have just rolled down and tried to three star Trindomir. I think going to nine was kind of a weird choice. It freaking matters. But in the moment, I felt like it didn't matter, obviously. And the moment of truth where I lose to a three-star Lee Sin. QSS Trindomir, by the way. Just because he did so much raw damage, it doesn't even matter. Like, he just killed him. Jesus. Holy... That is insane. Oh my god. Kicked me into a fucking another lifetime. And there we go. Alright. So. Tell me what you think about it. But that's generally how I like to run six warlords, right? Can't, I mean, generally, I like to run it, run it from the start early, you know, win streaking, you know, kind of like how this guy did early, right? I mean, this guy hit nine way before most people in this game, right? The polar fucking opposite from me, but uh, just let me know in the comments below what you thought of this, you know, if you like it, hate it, want more, right? Uh, if you do want more, go ahead and sub to the channel, you know, I, I will plan, I plan on doing this. Even into the new set that gets dropped, I think, in mid-April. Maybe late April. But, um, my next, my thoughts for the next video is that I think I'm going to try to run, uh, Mystics Vanguard. So I think Mystics Vanguard right now is also like, or, uh, you know, Fabled Mystic Vanguards with Nico. Right? I think it's, uh, kind of underrated. It's also hard to hit, but it's also, I think, I think it's still a pretty decent cop. Like balance comp right now, kind of like Warlords. It's just not contested, and I like to play these uncontested comps. So I think it gives me, the, gives me personally, I think the best chance to win. Also, it's so much less stressful, unless you just don't hit like I did in this game for Samira for the longest time. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you around. I am here to entertain myself mostly, but you too. Be right back. Will you? Who can know these things?